Welcome to the garage. I'm Robert, and this is Haslip Cycle Works. Today is just going to be a mini update video. Um, still working on Project Vulcan and Project Mini Bike. Doing a few other things as well. Um, unfortunately, I made a mistake. Um, I've, let me show you what I've got first. I've got some of the hardware we're going to use on Project Mini Bike. I've got some steel over here off camera that needs to be cut and welded in place. But that's all I can say. Um, the next video on the Mini Bike build, if you caught the previous one at the very tail end of it, I say, show you how to make your Mini Bike cooler. Than anyone else in the neighborhood. Um, some of you may be able to put two and two together and figure out what we're doing here, but I don't want to give it away just yet. But I do have the hardware for that, and I, like I said, I do have the steel tubing and angle off camera. I also have, if you remember, if you followed along with Project Vulcan, I showed you the seat hoop um, and told you that we needed to extend the length of this to reach the factory frame under the tank. The same gentleman I ordered the seat hoop from, I touched base with and asked him to send me out um, some additional lengths of tubing. So he sent me two 24 inch pieces. This is one inch OD um, along with two slugs. And the goal of these slugs is one end will fit into the hoop and the other will go into the extensions. So where we weld it, it will be extra strong. But we'll go over that in the next episode for the Vulcan project. Also have a little side project here. His bike is Jordy Black, but he added the upgraded red calipers and Harley calls that Brilliant Red. And he wants to add a couple other little highlights, if you will, to it. So um, from our Boys over at the uh, powdercoatstore.com found a matching red that matches this brilliant red uh, from Harley. So if you guys are looking to do the same thing, blood red uh, from the powder coat store is where you want to go. Of course, I'm going to put links to all this stuff in the description. Don't want to show what this part is yet. Uh, it's not a huge part, um, but it's going to make a big difference on the bike. So we've got that coming up as well. Um, that will probably be in a separate video and I'll show you a before picture, the process of powder coating that part, and then the after picture once it's been installed. Also have a few other things, uh, pretty excited about and anxious to show you guys. Um, but they're not far along enough yet to make a video out of. One of those things has to do with powder coating. Uh, that's going to be a big undertaking and probably be its own build series. So I just want to apologize for not having a full build series video on the mini bike or on the Vulcan, but those are coming. Don't worry. Um, and for those of you that have subscribed and commented and liked, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Keep those comments coming, keep the likes coming. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, make it a point to do that. That really helps the channel out. Again, thank you and apologize for not a f having a full length video. Here at Haslip Cycle Works, if we screw up, we'll own it. Um, just one guy trying to do this. Um, got several projects, as you know, going on. Sometimes it's easy to forget things. So I got all all these parts that I showed you and pieces and metal tubing and square tubing and angle to continue these projects. But I forgot one thing. Uh, let me take you off the tripod here and show you what I'm talking about. While I have all this metal, I neglected to check the argon level for my weld. So that, for those of you that weld or do fabrication, you know that is a major hurdle that is not easily overcome. I do not have someone that is very local to me or just around the corner that I can swap that bottle with. So I, I will get that taken care of. 
And as soon as I do, we'll get cracking on these projects and you'll see those videos coming out. So real world garage here, no fancy, you know, I don't have a, a crew to help me remember this stuff. Um, just real world stuff here, guys. Um, like I said, if we, uh, if we make a mistake or make a mess of something here, we'll own it. We'll show you guys. We're just human. Everyone makes mistakes. And as long as you learn from them and you own them, it's not really a mistake. It's just a learning experience. So I will probably get myself a nice size whiteboard right around the weld table and put reminders up there. Um, oh, weld table reminds me. There is parts coming, additions for our sort of flat weld table. So be on the lookout for those videos. Um, like I said, I got lots of stuff in the pipe for you guys. I'm very excited about, um, some of it's pretty big, some of it's just smaller stuff, but it's really cool stuff. Um, so bear with us and, uh, next weekend we'll resume our regularly scheduled programming and we'll have an episode, maybe, uh, maybe even two episodes next weekend. Uh, maybe I'll upload two. So fingers crossed. And like I said, I appreciate all the positive comments, all the likes, and all the subscriptions. Uh, let your friends know what we're all about here and get them to subscribe and like and comment. You know, I want to build this community up, build this brand and this channel and bigger, better projects for you guys. So again, thank you to you guys. Um, I appreciate it. Be on the lookout for those new videos coming out next weekend. And uh, hit that subscribe button to make sure that you get notified of new videos and new content from us. Don't want to miss, miss out on anything. Again, thank you. And uh, until next time, guys, get up, get out there, and do it.